Okay, in terms of access control, um, we are uh, very often thinking of our systems uh, and so various uh, uh, computer programs, uh, systems, operating systems, that's, you know, all, all of this type of thing. So uh, let's, uh, I suppose, begin at the, the most basic. Uh, our, uh, our operating systems for uh, the system itself. Um, the, the operating system very often has, uh, I mean, you know, as a matter of course these days, has uh, access control built into it so that we have, uh, you know, uh, sign-on uh, privileges, uh, uh, access systems, um, and that provides us with control uh, to files and, and resources, and uh, generally speaking, uh, the ability to execute various applications. So, uh, you know, that gives us a uh, reasonable starting point but please only a starting point this is um you know it, it gives us provision but not necessarily to the uh the level of detail the level of discrimination um that we need possibly for the system as a whole uh, or uh for our enterprise as a whole and remembering, as we have talked about, compartmented security, there may be uh, certain aspects that are more important that we have to address more fully than uh, the operating system gives us uh, uh, discretion to do. Um, now, mind you, you know, we, we need to start here uh, with the operating system, and that's where some of our most basic um, uh, concepts in terms of access control come in. For example, uh, the concept of the reference monitor. Now, do not go asking uh, people selling you operating systems if they have a reference monitor. The reference monitor is not a thing, it is a concept. Uh, it is an idea. Um, now, uh, the idea behind the reference monitor is that there is a single entity that controls uh, all accesses of, uh, well, subjects to objects in, in our technical terms, in, in terms of dealing uh, with access control within a system. Um, and... Uh, if if there is this single entity that provides for uh, the the oversight, the permissions, the management of all accesses, then we have a reference monitor. Uh, generally speaking, if people think they have one, it is in the security kernel of the operating system. Uh, now, security kernel is, is an actual thing. It's, it's that part of the operating system that uh, does this, this type of management if uh, the operating system is, in fact, built that way. Um, now, some of the systems uh, do have this and, and do it very well. Others do not have it and do not deal with security particularly well. And, uh, for example, uh, the Windows operating system which is very widely used and comes in for a lot of grief in in security terms does not have a an actual uh, reference monitor um, it has uh, a security kernel but in uh, in regard to the the windows operating system there is no um, no single entity that provides uh, and regulates the accesses 
of all subjects to all objects within Windows itself. Uh, and, and this is inherent in the operating system. Any window can send a message to any other window. And of course, messages in the Windows operating system can be commands. Therefore, do we, you know, we, we do not have a reference monitor in the Windows operating system. And you, you have to look at it at, at this level when you're dealing with, with that concept. Um, in uh, some cases, um, uh, the, the reference monitor may be implemented in other ways. Um, oh, for example, we will uh, come into uh, uh, a common object request broker. Or, uh, an object request broker in uh, object programming uh, is a, a network uh, system that will manage the requests from one object to another on a network basis so that you ha may have you know multiple systems uh possibly at you know uh remote from one another and uh still have a, a single application that um uh is comprised of of components on uh these various remote systems that object request broker becomes, in a sense, the reference monitor concept on a network basis. So we can deal with that um, uh, in, in a variety of ways. Um, uh, of course, as mentioned, the, the operating system's management of access control is um, only one as at aspect of uh, the management of uh, access control. And so uh, we may have to implement in our applications additional access controls to, to get a finer uh, gradation of what we want. Um, uh, databases are a, uh, a common example of this where um, in, in terms of the operating system, the operating system will give or deny access to the file, but there may be fields in the file that we uh, want to uh, control access to for various people. And therefore, um, depending on how we have structured uh, the design of the database itself, it, it may be that we uh, use a, a, a front end. We, we add on a front end. Of course, any time that you do an add-on in security, there is the possibility of building in uh, some vulnerabilities. And, and so we want to be uh, particularly careful when we are dealing with uh, this type of additional access control. Um, but it is a possibility and it is something that we need to uh, consider. Uh, so, um, you know, front ends, add-ons, uh, bolt-ons um, that we have for additional uh, access control give us finer gradation but may introduce vulnerabilities. All of this has to be considered when we are dealing with access control in its totality and, and the security and risk of the system in its totality.